Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to do the same exercise which we did in our last video, like taking the backup and basically doing the restore of Aurora MySQL DB. But this time we are going to do this using uh, CLI, AWS CLI. So if you remember the steps, what we did in the last video was to create a DB cluster, create a DB instance. Then we created a snapshot of our DB instance or DB cluster. Then we deleted our existing uh, DB cluster and then we restored it from the snapshot which we created right so we are going to follow the same steps with the CLI as well so let's get started all right so the first thing I'm going to do is basically going to create a DB cluster so AWS RDS I have uh, autocomplete enabled so that's actually helpful for me if you don't have AWS CLI autocomplete uh, please have it enabled it actually helps you a lot when you are doing AWS CLI commands right so create DB cluster DB cluster identifier so I'll just call it prod, prod cluster right and engine engine would be Aurora my SQL then I need to give master username I'll call it admin master user password would be password and then two things I need to provide one is the DB subnet group name and the VPC uh, security group right so I already have a DB subnet group created if you don't have you can actually do that using a WS CLI itself but since I already have that created I'm going to use it so DB subnet group name it is my DB subnet and VP, VPC security group ID so I'll just go and grab the default security group ID you probably would need to create a security group ID especially for your RDS right but for the demo purposes I'm just going to put the default security group ID over here and that's pretty much it that's all I need to create a DB cluster so I'll just hit enter and you can see it has returned me a JSON and you can just go through the details so you can see the availability zones when C one B one F DB cluster identifier is prod cluster. This is the cluster parameter group, subnet group, status it is still creating. So we'll just refresh it again. Or we can just go to our AWS console and go to databases and refresh it over here. And you can see the status is creating. So this should be created quickly shouldn't take more time but by the time it is getting created I'm going to basically create a DB cluster a DB instance right uh, you can do that so let me clear the screen and then AWS RDS create DB instance and db instance identifier i'll call it database one and then i need to provide the cluster identifier db cluster identifier prod cluster uh, then i need to give uh, db instance class so for this I'm going to use our db dot r5 dot x large instance and availability zone so we had like three availability zone so I'll just use us east one C I think it was there right one C was there yeah one C was there all right and the last is to provide engine and it is again going to be Aurora my SQL and just hit enter and you can see my instance is created so we'll just come and refresh over here 
and you can see the instance is getting created and like from the previous video we know that this is going to take some time around 10 minutes so i'll just pause the video and come back once this is created all right so our db is created now let's go back to our console let me clear the screen and now we are going to take a snapshot a manual snapshot so by default automated backup would have been taken by rds but we are going to take a manual snapshot and we are going to restore it using the manual snapshot so aws rds create db cluster snapshot db cluster identifier prod cluster and db snapshot identifier i will call it prod snapshot we'll hit enter and you can see its status is creating so if we go back to a snapshot we will have the status as creating so we'll actually have to wait for a couple of minutes before this becomes available and then only we'll be able to uh, restore our db from there but by that time what we can do is we can get rid of these because we already have the snapshot so we can just delete these this is what we did in our previous video to delete this and this is also this is going to save you some cost or this save me some cost yes delete me so this is going to delete or did I select take the final snapshot? I don't know. So this is still creating and now it is available. All right, so now we can go back to our console, clear the screen, and now we are going to restore DB cluster, right? So AWS RDS restore DB parameter cluster from S3 cluster from snapshot so this is what we are looking for and db cluster identifier so this is going to be a new identifier so i'll call it prod cluster restore so we're just uh, suffixing it with restore restore and it will require snapshot identifier so it was prod snapshot then then all the parameters which you provided right so like engine would be mysql aurora aurora mysql db subnet group name mm, my db subnet in this one and vpc security group so i'll just grab the id of the security group again quickly and paste it here and let's hit enter all right so it got created so if we just come back over here and refresh so we have the prod cluster restore group getting created and that two which we created initially are getting deleted so now this is created from the snapshot which we took of the original database so since we now have the cluster creating we can go ahead and create our db instance right so let's just quickly do that so aws rds create db instance again we'll repeat the same process db instance identifier would be database one restore db cluster identifier would be prod cluster restore because this is part of the new cluster and db instance class again i'm going to use the same instance class if you want you can change like you like you can change when you are creating or restoring from a snapshot right so 
so r5 dot x large availability availability zone again I'll put it in US East 1c and engine the last parameter right engine would be Aurora my SQL before hitting enter let's just see if this is still creating so it doesn't matter we can still create the instance and the cluster together no worries in that and you can see our database instance is getting created and this is getting created from the snapshot which we took rot snapshot right so either we can wait for these two to get created and be available or you can basically i mean you now understand the process because we have already seen this when we were doing the same thing using ui and we are doing exactly the same thing just using the aws cli so basically this i wanted to show you because in case you want to script this right if you want to automate this you write you want to write a shell script around this you can just go ahead and write it right now you can basically automate your database backup and restore all right so that's all i wanted to cover for this video just wanted to keep it short because we've already covered backup and restore from ui in detail so that's pretty much it from me and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching